Hello, Rod here. I'm back with another No Man's Sky video. And this should help you prepare for most of phase three. So it should be really smooth running and not give you many issues. So the first thing you want to do is pop a freighter blighted. Oh, on a side note, if you're still in rendezvous point two, stay there for now. But that'll give you the Nautilin chamber and the high powered sonar. Now, as you can see, we need to get the solar mirror. You're going to need about nine crystal sulfites and salt. Also, return to your freighter to pick up the gold and the silver. You can delete some rooms if need be, or just shoot some asteroids. To get the solar mirror, go to the anomaly, follow the path I'm taking. While you're here, speak to the ship guy and pick up the indium drive for phase four. That should save you a bit of running around later. Now go to that central kiosk. 250 nanites by the solar mirror. Now for the salt. You could get it in phase three when you're doing all the missions, but that is a lot of effort. You could also check the planets like that one there, which has salt in it. As it doesn't seem to have an ocean, it means it will be in rock form on the surface, making it easier. But I like this planet at Rendezvous 2. I spent a bit of time here collecting oxygen, salt, and of course looking at the creatures. You only need to collect about 100 salt, but if you come to this planet in Rendezvous 2, you'll probably spend a bit of time here. Maybe adopt a creature. Well, you don't need to do that, but I did anyway. Okay, time to get the crystal sulfate. Remember, about nine of them. Also, you can fuel your Nautilin with warp fuel. Remember to install your sonar. This is a crystal sulfide. I usually collect two, then wait for it to explode. Then of course, finally collect the third one. Let's use the high powered sonar. And we're looking for a submerged rune. But don't go there in your nautilus, just get out and get back in your ship. It's a lot easier. As you can see, it's 33 minutes away. That'll take forever in the Northland. If you can, land as close as you can. Oh, and an important side note. Make sure you've got plenty of launcher fuel. Legs under the seas just popped. I'll call in my Nautilin in case my oxygen gets low. And then interact with the glowy bit to progress the mission. I've got the trident key. Now I've got to look for a sea chest. Let's dig that up. Right, use the trident key and the pearls you should get for a mission. If not, you can find them lying around. Sunken antique should pop, but if it doesn't, just go to the Northland and look for another ancient site. Okay, now let's select the last piece milestone. It might be hard to see, but that's the icon you want, so return to your ship. And again, to make life easy, just fly there. For this phase, I really would advise landing as close as you can. 
When you've landed, get in your Northland and head to the destination. And now you can see why I said to get your ship as close as you can because there's a crash ship here. And I'm going to show you how to get that crash ship up to the space station without having to fix it. So complete the mission. And then get in and out of the crash ship. Head back to your Northland and then head back to your original ship. You might have to go up to the surface to get bearings and try and clock your ship. Hence the reason I said get as close as you can. Now of course get in your original ship Take off, head to space and call in the anomaly As soon as you land the anomaly Go into your quick menu and switch to the broken ship. Now follow the path that I'm taking to the teleporter terminal. Then teleport to our space station. I'm at the space station. There's my broken ship. Head to the Starship Outfitter to scrap the broken ship. 2.8 million, not too bad. Now as you can see, with a bit of preparation, Phase 3 can be really easy. With a bonus 2.8 million from that scrap ship. And in real time, it didn't take me too long at all to do this. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. Oh,